Hey guys, we just got off the ferry in Punta Arenas and we're heading over to see Snow and Kurt to pick up our bushings that Kurt graciously brought back from the US for us. Emily wanted to give that cat some food and that lady actually picked the kitten up, took it out of the road. Pretty funny yeah. double whammy strangers helping out this kitten. Sombrita wants to play with it though. Donde esta su mamá, baby? Well, we're really lucky that Kurt brought those bushings back from America Woo! for us. Thank you so much. So now we can go fix our van tomorrow and uh, we'll see you guys on Down Emily's birthday, I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's the plan. Hope we do. Man, yeah, good to see you guys. Good yeah. to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> So, we're here at my uncle's place. This is the car parts. Yay! It cost a thousand dollars to get here. Oh my gosh. But my uncle's place where we can stay, there's the van right there. This? Black label. <gasps> oh my gosh, a ninja. Knowing the Spaniards, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually olive oil in here. Oh yeah, that might be olive oil. Oh man. Maybe it is olive oil. They got some nice stuff. So, this is the car parts that we shipped from the US down to Costa Rica. All the official paperwork. So the part list, the parts themselves were like 1K. The shipping ended up being 1,200. And then the guy who was picking it up here had to pay 500 more in taxes for us to get this package here. Graham found a box. We got ball joints, two lower ball joints. I'm not really sure what this part is. <laughs> Maybe it's a part of the assembly. Yeah, we got two of those. Oh gosh, this is huge. This must be the, the ball joint. Here, these are the shocks. Check this out. The two big boxes wow. are shocks. And yeah. we got Thank you. We got some beefy shocks. They're supposed to be really nice. Graham, are you looking for boxes to get into? Where are you looking to get in a box? <laughs> Predictable. So, it's gonna cost 3000 to ship this cat. <laughs> We're not doing that. You're coming with us. Hey, we out here. In San Jose, skate park number eight. In yeah. Costa Rica, aquí. Ah.
Big day. Taking this spare parts Kurt brought off to the mechanic. Hoping they can find a couple more bushings. Fingers crossed. Got the bushings ready. We got the security lug nut ready. Ooh. Hope everything goes well. We gotta go pick up the van. They weren't able to get those other bushings. When the lady emailed me what bushings we needed, she sent a picture with circled bushings that said, these are the only bushings you need. If I would have carefully read what she said above that, she said, you need the stabilizer bar bushings and this other thing. And then she sent a picture of the other thing and told me which of the other thing. I messed up. I think the bushings we got are more unique, more important for safety and steering. But now we have an extra challenge of finding these things and getting them to Panama. Get some of these components. Look at this beast. What are you calling an old man though? We got the van back. Okay, let's see. So, put on a little gas. There would definitely be a noise there normally, right? Yeah. Yeah. It does even sound... going like this. With the with the try it again with the with touching the brakes a little bit. Turning and touching the brakes. I think it sounds way yeah, better. I, think I don't hear any noise. Oh, so. thank goodness. Yeah, and he said that one bushing that I didn't get, uh, one for each side of the stabilizer bar, it's gonna be okay. It's not urgent. It's no safety issue anyway, even if it was urgent. So uh, that was really good news too. And, and now yeah. to drive it, I guess. I can give myself a break on not getting the right ones. Yes, don't don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Well, we gotta get some food because we hangry. <laughs> well, I guess anytime you do suspension stuff, you have to come get an alignment after. So here we are, and I am always impressed with this alignment process. It's a crazy machine. The guy just cranks it out quick, but you gotta put these things. And then those flashing red lights are hanging off of those, I guess, to give you the exact measurements of, of where the alignment is. And as for that phantom noise underneath, man, I don't even know. Good chance to take a peek though. History of the dimmer switch. Clearly heavily used. What's going on? Well, I undid these screws, took this stuff off so I can take a peek. See that wire just came undone. Hopefully I can just, you know, reconnect that wire somehow. <sighs> gonna have to get that thing off, so I'm gonna need some more tools. So here's all my electrical tools I keep in here. And you know, we got generic stuff, but I also have a multimeter. Ah, yeah. This is the most common dimmer switch on Amazon, but I don't recommend this because they're very weak. You can see here two cables pulled out the back, so that's the problem right now. But also for the front lights where there's four of them, it just never seemed to work well for four lights. In the back, that dimmer switch is still working great. Is it has less resistance over it, I guess. But yeah, these things are just cheap. I would definitely recommend not to spend a hassle. Fortunately, we have a backup switch we were carrying with us. Same diameter, it fits through the hole perfect. You know, the dimmer didn't really work right anyway, so 
<laughs> now we got on off. The only tricky part is getting in there deep enough, deciphering things. I should have left myself more room. I think we got it all deciphered. I was talking with my dad just to double check, but uh, I can explain what, what all this is basically. So there's one line that's uninterrupted. It goes straight up. That goes to the fan. Uh, the other line, it was cut so we could put the switch in line and that goes up to the lights. Now. The red just connects directly to the next red. So this switch was on the black, on the negative. Even though one's black, one's red, That's that was the switch's colors. So I'm just gonna tie those directly together with the new switch in between. The challenge, getting your hands in here. You can see how huge my finger is compared to this. Gotta strip back those tiny wires to get some metal available. And then, this one's already stripped. Take off this black piece easily. And then, I will tie those together using one of these guys. And then I'll put some electrical tape around there for good measure. Okay, now we got some conductor ready. Working with wires as small is super tricky to strip, but you can also put a lighter to it and the housing will melt. Of course, I removed the fuse. Now these are the smallest ones I have right now. Thanks to Bob for giving me a bag back when we were working on the van. So we're gonna put this, that, and one of the cables. Just tie it all in there. Electrical tape, same over here. Before I do that final electrical tape, we'll test. A little trick my dad taught me is if you put those two into two like that, then you can twist tie this with one side, this with the other, and then twist tie it all together and have a real nice solid connection. Woo, got both connected. Let's reconnect that fuse. Where did I put it? Okay, found him. Just gonna go in here. Hey, lights on. That must mean this switch is on. Come on, moment of truth. Hey! I just have to add some electrical tape here. Shut it off, take the fuse out, finish up the work. There we go, got some electrical tape around those. I'll check it again, and then we'll put the switch through. Now, just to get rid of this scuff mark, we're gonna toss this here. We got a nice round sticker. I crossed the Arctic Circle. I'd love to be reminded of that every time I turn on the lights. Now we just gotta put this guy on from their side. Ah, so there it is finished up. I'd like a classier one, but you know what? This is gonna be fine. <laughs> I think this is a switch you can get at a car store. A lot of DC car things. So now, just gotta get this all buttoned up. Take this guy, boy. Put in these screws and this cover. All right, done. Added swag and we got lights. Another van maintenance project down. <laughs> Might seem like things are falling apart in here, but honestly, I've known people who bought their RVs, you know, vans, pre-built, and a lot of stuff broke too. And in that case, they didn't know how to fix it. So at least, you know, we built it. It was a lot cheaper, probably a fifth the price because of that. And we got it how we wanted, and I know how to fix things when they go wrong. We carry a couple extra parts like that switch. I better pick up another just in case. But yeah, any AutoZone kind of place has that. Woo, on to the next one. <laughs> we got lights. Okay, just a little bit of a lesson. So we got these locking lug nuts so that no one can seal our tires and it's, it's a special piece, it's basically a key. And we accidentally left it at the place that put the bushings on the van. Well, they accidentally forgot to give it to us. Yeah, they forgot to give it to us, but we've also forgot. So, I think it's a good idea to have them for, for safety. I mean, it's kind of nice that, I mean, I don't think anyone would be able to steal our tires while we were sleeping in the back anyway. But make sure you have everything that you own before you leave anywhere. <laughs> So today we're going to get the pet paperwork done to cross the border soon. It's going to be about $100 per pet, which is extremely expensive, but she'll give us a new health certificate and also take the paperwork to SANASA, which is the government agency for Costa Rica. They're just going to get looked at by the vet. They're not going to get any shots or anything, so they should be okay. Yeah, buddy, look at this place. Owned by Kenneth Tencio, pro BMXer from Costa Rica here. Haven't seen anything this sick in a while. It's big though. Thankfully it's under cover because it's hot, but Emily's gonna be awesome and brave the heat for a bit in the van there so I can get in this ride. Really been meaning to check out this place. 
but it just hasn't worked out every time we've been around hot golf. The owner's gonna come maybe in an hour. Could be epic. Thanks for coming over to film a couple clips for me, baby. Yeah, no problem. This place is on my overlander. You can sleep here. <laughs> This is a bit of a humbling experience. I haven't ridden anything this big in so long that it's like scary. You really gotta be in peak shape. It's gonna be crazy to see the master here in a bit, but might as well use this opportunity to try to relearn a, a trick here on this resi. This ramp's called a, a resi because this landing has padding underneath. So you can learn some tricks on this. I'm gonna try reeling there and tail whip air. I'll get that trick soon. You know, I remember when I learned that trick was uh, the first time I grew my hair long trying to keep it on my face right now but and I had a gift certificate from my parents for a really fancy barber who tried to trick me into cut my hair it was when I graduated college and there was a little skate park right there I think uh, Bothell Washington near Seattle and uh, just a tiny quarter but I learned tail with bears on it and did it for years so I got to relearn that one soon Wow, well, you're starting to get a little tired. When you get old, sometimes you just start getting more into tech tricks instead of big tricks. And it's fun to do and not as dangerous. <laughs> to keep myself young, I try to do a crank flip, bar spin, and a tail whip every day. So let's see if we can get that done. One down, that's the crank flip. Let's get the bar spin. Now I gotta knock off the tail whip and that will complete spinning every part of the bike. Probably just gonna do a cop out tail whip since not on my game. <laughs> Craig the bar spin tail whip. <laughs> Modernizing the bike a bit here, new bars, this, putting on the brakes. Tensio shop. <laughs> they got the BMX. Sponsored by Red Bull. Fresh bars, stem. Wow, the bars breaks. are clean. A lot of other stuff. <laughs> Very nice. Ooh, get in this? So we're heading over to to Danny's uncle's vacation home for some downtime. It's super nice with a great view and it's close to the skate park Danny really likes. We love that rice and beans so much on the Caribbean coast. I'm gonna try to cook it here for me and Emily. We'll put a link in the description for the recipe.
So what do you think of the rice and beans? Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so nice. Oh my gosh, look at this side dish, babe. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. A little vegan side dish for my vegan wife. Mmm. So one really amazing thing that we've learned since we started in this little house is that Graham loves seaweed. <laughs> Look, he's standing on my... He never does this for food. Never does this for food. He's obsessed with seaweed. It's nori for sushi. And I looked it up, and it's okay for him to eat. There's vitamins in it that are good for him. He loves it. He loves it so much. He's been eating <laughs> like little pieces for three days now, and every time I get out the seaweed, he runs over and jumps on me. <laughs> you love seaweed. It's probably the fish. It smells the fish. Shopping hot cove, have another sesh. Esteban, master of the brakes right here, this guy. <laughs> My bike is killing it, thanks to him. Get a couple clips. <laughs> Kenny Tentio is super chill, one of the best BMXers I've ever seen, super nice. He even asked the people, hey, can you guys line up better so Danny can have some room here? <laughs> like, that's so nice. So I guess they all live together. The BMX scene here is pretty sick because Kenneth has a place, it's like a land with a bunch of little houses and all those BMXers all live there in the different places. So a couple of them mentioned that I should come by and check out the bowl there, which I've seen a video of, it looks insane too. Anyway, I just took a couple of clips of, of Kenneth, but he was doing over and over a backflip double tail whip on a hip, so that's a turn 90 degrees, like on that softer landing. Definitely getting back to going bigger and enjoying that, and a lot of tricks I want to relearn watching those dudes ride. So just a hell of a scene, good music, nice people, crazy skate park has been amazing thank you tio alejandro and tio santi for letting us stay at your place you guys are the best by the way kenneth tensio is competing in the tokyo olympics this weekend check it out and good luck kenneth thanks so much for watching we really appreciate the massive amount of support we've been getting if you like our video let us know in the comments like and subscribe see ya